Hallo, ich bin der Videospieler und wir spielen mal wieder ein neues Spiel und zwar äh, The Adventures of Bertram Fiddle, A Bleaker Predicament. Das ist äh, die, der zweite Teil von äh, Adventures of Bertram Fiddle. Äh, der zweite Teil wurde durch Kickstarter finanziert und ähm, ja, das ist ein Comic Adventure aus England. Und das wird man dem gleich anmerken. Die äh, Entwickler sind Rumpus. Äh, das sind, eigentlich sind auch äh, Animationsstudio-Profis. Äh, wir schauen mal kurz mal da rein. Das Abteil das machen wir an. Das macht es leichter. Ähm, ja, wir starten einfach mal los. <lacht> sehr lustige Nasen, die Charaktere. Chapter 1, an unexpected occurrence. Bertram. Sleep again, Fiddle. This will never do. Everyone else has finished their work and gone home hours ago. You're still three short of your daily quota. This is not good enough, Fiddle. <laughs> uh, sorry, Mr. Dullsworth. Uh, I'll get those seen to right at once. Let yourself out when you're done. I shall be in my office attending to business. And I don't want to be disturbed. Yes, Mr. Dullsworth. Tap to move. Hello, this is in the oven. Someone is calling me at this hour? Hello. Mr. Fuddle. Mr. Mr. Bertram Fuddle. Fuddle. Yes, but it's actually Bertram Fiddle. It's close enough, Mr. Fuddle. This is Mr. Dullsworth's mother. I'm calling you because I hear you have some detectivating experience. Well, yes, I do have a certain reputation for sleuthfulness. Very good. I need someone to do some investigating for me. And as I've been unable to get hold of the esteemed Mr. Holmes, you will have to suffice. Um, certainly, madam. Let me be brief, Mr. Fiddle. My son has been acting most peculiar recently. Find out what he is up to and report back to my house immediately. Good gracious. This seems like the beginning of an adventure. I must finish my work here as quickly as possible. <clears> Hold <throat> oh, the space bar. I'll put this in my pocket until I want to use it. Okay, that's inventor. Selling soap is thirsty work. Ah, this tea is revolting. Mm hmm. Alfred Crumston. Uh, uh, eins, C, drei. Ich nehme an. Ich brauche die noch hier. Telegram circuits on. Fuse capacitator fusing. Time to sell some soap. Hmm. Who seems like a suitable customer? from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Dullsworth, you say? I got some Dullsworth shampoo in my eyes and couldn't see for weeks. And it still stings. I wouldn't use that stuff on my cats. It's a menace. Goodbye. Oh, there we need. B1 C4. Oh, hello. Is that you, Margaret? Uh, no. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer just for you. Soap? Oh, no, no, no thank you very much, Lee. I, I never use the stuff. I like things dirty. Ta-da. 
Ich jetzt noch den ersten. Hello, who is this? Greetings. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an ex. How did you get this number? Do you know what time it is? It's my relaxing time. That's what it is. Do I sound relaxed to you? Do I? <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. Sorry? I'll make you sorry. Don't ever call this number again. Okay. Hello, who is this? Hello, sir. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer just for you. Really? Just for me? How delightful. Yes, yes it is. For a limited period only, we are offering you a free flannel with every bar of adequate soap you buy. A free flannel, you say? Ooh, wonderful. I'll take one, please. Really? I mean, excellent. I shall have those dispatched to you right away. Juhu, wir haben Seife verkauft. Mr. Quinge is speaking. Hello, I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company. And? Would you perchance be interested in purchasing some of our perfectly adequate soap? Whatever for? Its unique formula is guaranteed to make you fairly clean. I don't have time for this newfangled cleanliness in my life. Goodbye. <laughs> Mr. Guy Hardwood. Guy Hardwood speaking. What do you want? Come on, come on, spit it out. I ain't got all day. I'm an exceptionally impotent person. Impotent. Greetings. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Fiddle, you old dog. Is that you? Uh, no, no, most definitely not. Goodbye. <laughs> B4. Yes. Greetings. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Go on. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? Whatever for? Well, it is very good for cleaning. Does it remove stubborn stains, like blood, for example? Um, probably. Oh, well then. I'll take five, no, six packets right away. Ooh, jolly good. Yo. Mr. Oliver Grottle. Mr. Grottle's residence. Would you be interested in a bar of our new and improved, even more adequate soap? Soap? No, not now, not never. Soap bad, melts you, it does. Right. I'll put that down as a no, then. Yes? Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? No. Didn't think so. <laughs> Bandersnatch, I'd... Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? How rude! Goodbye! Spongebob. Spongebob is doch a name wo doch Seife will, oder? Hello, Mr. Spongebob speaking. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? Not today, thank you. I'm quite clean enough. Oh, okay. Clean enough? Mutton lugs. Hello! Greetings, madam. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company. Would you like to buy some soap? What flavor? Flavor? Um, sort of cleany, flowery? I love soup. I'll buy some. Sorry, madam. I think you misheard me. I said soap, not soup. Oh, that is a shame. I really wanted to buy some soup. Well, this soap does make a tasty broth. It does? Then I'll buy a packet. Thank you. Jolly good. 
At last, my work is done. Ja, und jetzt habe ich auch alle durch. Gut. Mr. Dalsworth? Mr. Dalsworth? Wherever could he be? <laughs> I never saw him leave. Mrs. Dalsworth was right. He is up to something. Mrs. Dalsworth, a formidable woman. Her eyes seem to follow you around the room. The witty motivational painting. Wait, there's something behind it. Ooh. It's an Emerson and Burke safety safe. Solid as a rock. Oh my, sales of soap are slipping. And look at the cost of ink. It's extortionate. What a tidy desk. A photograph of his mother. He must love her very much. A souvenir from the delightful town of Grimsthorpe. Hand lotion. He must like keeping his skin soft. These are debtor's letters. Mr. Dalsworth isn't as squeaky clean as everyone thinks. Mr. Dalsworth's work diary. <laughs> Ideas for new so products. So this is what he does in here all day. Shampoo that doesn't burn the eyes. Turn that frown. Upside down. Mr. Dalsworth's work diary. <laughs> I'm becoming so forgetful. So lately. this is what he does in here all day. Turn that frown upside down. I wonder if something is bothering him. Mr. Dalsworth's stamping machine. I'm sure I will be permitted to use it in his absence. Bother! It's inkless. Um. Bother! It's inkless. Oh, the wire. Uh, tinte? I wonder if he's in the closet. These look like the clothes he was just wearing. A secret exit. This must be how he sneaks in and out without anyone noticing. Mr. Dalsworth is slipperier than he looks. What does Mr. Dalsworth need a secret tunnel for? Why, Mother? My eyes barely burn at all. I can see the soap making machines. It's bolted tight. Ooh, an Oscar. He's got clean away. What could he possibly be up to? Possibly. Also hier scheint nichts mehr zu machen, machen zu können. Halt. Mal gucken. Da war. A mooring, but the boat's not about. Okay. Safe auf gegen. 1876. 1878. 
What a tidy day. A photomograph. Look at the cost of ink. Sind jetzt die Zahlen, die die Jahreszahlen, die wieder auf den Dullsworth's work diary. So, turn that frown upside down. I wonder if something is bothering him. Na, seven, seven, three, four is this. Okay, turn it upside down. Help me. Tinte drin, das ist schon mal gut. A letter, quite perfumery, and sealed with a kiss. Should I be dabbling in matters of the heart? Ich muss den nicht mitnehmen. Können wir wieder zurücklegen? Maybe I should leave this here and not show Mrs. Dullsworth. What a tidy day. So. De Tinte. Aha! Now I am legitimized. Good. Ich habe keine Ahnung, ob ich den Brief mitnehmen soll oder nicht. Aber das sollte eigentlich nicht das sein, warum er so Probleme hat, hoffe ich doch mal. Barrels of unexceptional shampoo. Imagine the lather we'd be in if something happened to them. Oh, extra adequate soap. It smells perfectly acceptable. Good evening, Mr. Fiddles. Working late again. That lovely wife of yours must be very proud. Indeed she is, Mr. Tibbs. But this is merely a short-term position until I find myself a suitable adventure. Of course, sir. I understand. I actually am an author. Romance novels is my thing. This job is merely to pay the bills until I get myself a publishing deal. Good for you, Tibbs. Now, if you will open the gate, I'll be off. I'm afraid you can't leave until you've finished your work. Nee, ich habe ja hier meinen. A pleasant and uneventful evening to you, Mr. Fiddles. Und wir sind raus. Können wir sicher wieder reingehen, aber. Und vielleicht auch noch den Brief holen. Evening Burble! Evening Burble! Distinct lack of murderings lately! Jeff the murderer not struck again for a long time. Let me have a look at that. Obviously a slow news day. <laughs> Tell me about it, sir. I've been shouting about nothing for over a year now. Well, they do say no news is good news. <laughs> not for me, it ain't. Good evening, sir. You're working late. Yes, sir. Another convict escaped last night and ran down the sewers. It's like a maze down there. An escape? 
How thrilling! Indeed. Whisk clean away whilst no one were looking. Was the convict dangerous? That's not for me to say, sir. I'm just here to fill in some gaping holes. What a massive clock! But it has stopped working. Those chimneys look so majestic in the early evening smog. This bin is full of peels. What kind of peels? I must find Mrs. Dalsworth's house and report my findings to her. The Dalsworth estate is at the top of Tormentley Hill, if I recall correctly. Tormentley Hill. The Manporium. Full of male enhancements to make oneself more manly. All sorts of gentlemanly enhancements in there. Bertram, over here! Evelina! Fancy seeing you here! How are you? I've not seen you for such a time. Off having fantastic adventurings, no doubt. Um, not exactly. I, um, uh, how are you? Have you been busy? Not at all, Bertram. There is so little news to report upon nowadays. Since all those dreadful murderings stopped, I've had nothing to do. I'd really hoped that the Jeff the Murderer story would make my name as an independent investigative journalist. But it's been so quiet recently. Even Sherlock Holmes has gone away on an extended holiday. I hope something newsworthy happens soon, or I may be forced to make my own headlines. I'm almost tempted to murder someone myself, just for something to write about. Ah. I'm uh, currently investigating a case for Mrs. Dalsworth. It's nothing much, but I'm hoping it may turn into some sort of fantastical adventure. Dalsworth, eh? Here's a name I've not heard in a while. I know a few things about old squeaky clean Dalsworth that would shock the likes of you. Really, madam, do you mind? Oh, la di da Does your lady friend want some flowers? Oh, no. She isn't my... I mean, I mean I'm not her... The, the, no, thank you, madam. I'm not a flowery person. Suit yourself. What's that? It's coffee, Bertram. Would you like some? Oh, no. I'm not that kind of man. Also müssen wir hier links hoch. Das ist gut, wenn es da hier schöne Karten gibt. I'm going away for a few days. There is something very important I need to do. Off somewhere nice, are you? I shan't tell you any more. It is too complicated. Okay. Na, halt nicht. Was ist das für einer? Oscar, what are you doing? I'm protesting, Bertram. My dear friend, Walter, has been thrown into prison simply for being an artiste. Until Walter is set free, I shall remain enshackled here. Well, I hope you really stick it to the man, Oscar. Me too, Bertram. Me too. Okay, also gehen wir hier weiter. Das ist auch eine Möglichkeit hier, die... A rather bleak and sinister alley. Rather sinister alley. I mean, lot of überwachungskameras. Good evening, ma'am. Is it indeed? Be off with you. Idling is frowned upon round here. Such a sour attitude. She has a face like a squashed strawberry. I heard that! Okay, here scheint's gar nichts zu geben. Gehen wir gleich weiter. Mrs. Dalsworth's cameras scrutinize the whole street. I doubt if anything gets past her watchful gaze. So here. The Invisible Man. Durkin Skirkins. Come to Piddle by the Sea. It's never dull. Big. Uh, I don't know, 
zusammensetzen. Fig. Bird. I. Tram. Fig. I. Absolute gibberish. Bertram Figo. Success. Bertram Figo. Dull. Ham. Bird. Tram. Fig, I, you are wasting my time. Fiddle. Bertram. Bertram Fiddle Dalham Bertram I am Bertram Fiddle I am Bird, Tram, Fig, Dull. Ah, so you are Bertram Fiddle. Why didn't you say so? You're late. Okay, ich habe das Rätsel jetzt gelöst, bevor es mir gestellt wurde. Ich hätte erstmal hier, aber sie hätte mich nicht verstanden. Meine ich. <lacht> Also gut, jetzt haben wir Zugang zu der Residenz hier. Ähm, das machen wir dann beim nächsten Mal, dann kommt jetzt bestimmt ein Gespräch. Äh, das dauert mir dann jetzt sehr lange für dieses Video. Ich sage tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal, euer Videospieler. Und damit sind wir am Ende dieses Videos angelangt. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, ich habe noch jede Menge mehr Videos in meinem Kanal. Schaut rein, abonniert, unterstützt mich finanziell auf Patreon, würde mich freuen. Tschüss und vielen Dank.